And welcome back, everybody. Let me just say, I am so glad to see this man right now, right. Joe Bonanno, everybody, mm -hmm. because I'll tell you, life can turn on a moment. Uh, it was on September 11th. We started out the day doing a simple little cooking show. In fact, we were working over Ronzoni pasta, mm -hmm. and then the day turned into possibly the most tragic day in U.S. history. Let's go back to that show that morning. Started out at about 6 a.m., you and I are having a little fun there. There we go, doing the show open. Now take a look. There's Jeff yep, Giordano, Giordano coming down with us. You're coming down the pole too. We're having a great morning. You can see the smiles on their faces. Okay, I was putting together my little dish, yep. your championship dish there mm -hmm. as well. Point nice. out some of the guys. Yeah, that's Joe Maloney. He's uh, among the missing. Yeah. Um, yeah, as we get out of the floor, Captain Patty Brown was there that morning. And that's uh, firefighter Jimmy Coyle. Yeah, and you know, our, too. and our hearts go out to all the families there. Now, not every person you saw in there is missing this morning, but Ladder 3 took a tremendous hit. We were on uh, 13th Street and about 4th Avenue, right. and uh, when the planes hit the tower, uh, those men were called in very early, weren't they? They're yeah, one yeah the they were one of the first ones to arrive, right. And uh, um, in that morning, a number of them were up in the tower. Uh, in fact, 12 are missing. Yep, uh, I shouldn't 12. say that because they have found some of the bodies. Yep. But uh, 12 men gone from that yeah, ladder, ladder company. company. Yep, a lot of three lost 12 men. How are you going through this? Well, I was down there. I got, uh, unfortunately, I left just before the uh, planes hit, and I had gotten home in time. But uh, my brother's a firefighter on Ladder 7. They also lost a bunch of people. And me and my brother went down within 12 hours, and we spent three, da three days searching down there. And, I know. And, and, and I talked to uh, Marie Giordano, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Jeff's wife as well. And again, our hearts go out to them. And, and I, I'm just so proud about how the, the community, New York and the world, really has come to the, you know, to the aid of all those people and, you know, hopefully taking care of them. Uh, yeah, and something... we, made a, we made a tape of the uh, copies of the tape and we delivered it to Ladder 3 and we also gave Sahih Hand delivered some of them to the wives and it was really nice to, for them to see them in their last morning before the horrible accident, uh, enjoying themselves. And the fire. thing to remember about all of these men is, man, that was their job and it was a job that they loved to do and probably did not have a moment's hesitation about charging up into those buildings and, and battling that place. No, and as Mayor Giuliani said, you got to take great pride in the fact that they did save over 25,000 people got out of there because of the heroic efforts. Okay, I know it's pasta, Ronzoni pasta this morning, but this is also a great cause to raise money. This is, we were down there originally for the for, marathon pasta meal. The marathon pasta party, and I have great things to say about Ronzoni. I'm not here to promote a product, but you know yeah, what, they were involved with us. Up here. Yeah, they were involved with us firefighters in 1999, and now they've tripled their donation to $30,000. Explain what's coming up, the pasta okay, party. Uh, before the pasta party, they have this big, uh, I mean, uh, before the marathon, they load up on pasta, and Ronzoni sponsors the whole uh, contest, and they've dedicated they dedicated it in 1999, and you worked with me in 99. Wait a second, wait a second. Have you incorporated some of my secrets into your dish right now? No, I didn't steal any of your secrets. Oh, I thought I had, a, <laughs> I had a hot dish going that morning as you well, did. too. We went out in the street, and we had a good time. And, and we like to be able to laugh about that right now, because that was the spirit of it that morning, and that's the spirit of those men as well. Right, and we have it. to celebrate their lives. And, and most of the firefighters I talk to, we are hurting about this thing, but we want to get back to life as normal in the firehouse. And again, um, let's give that hotline number here too. Forgot it. This is the only type of folks you're going to ever see me go to a cue card here. And it's, uh, you know, the hotline or log on to the WB11.com. I didn't do that too well. Linda, Lynn, come on over here. I've eaten this pasta before. It's tremendous. You guys come over and join me. Joe, give me a big hug, man. Right. I'm just so glad you made it out there, buddy. Joe, give I me am. a big hug. Oh, yeah, I'd rather hug. We're glad you're here. Thanks. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, I'd rather hug you guys. Larry. Wow. <laughs> no, I can't believe that. So give me a big hug, Joe. Um, no. Hey, have a little okay, taste here, too. Oh, so good. Come okay, on, you. Come this on. Is one of the, three, three firefighters won the contest, oh, and this is one of the winning contests. Is Aaron Bush from uh, Engine 320 mm. in Queens? Very nice. One of the winners. Yummy. Um, broccoli, sausage, a little bit of olive oil, olive oil white yeah, wine, can, yep. oh, very garlic, nice. garlic, of course. When is it? Joe? Real spicy. Uh, okay, Saturday night, November 3rd. Nice tip. All the mm -hmm. firefighters are invited if they want to come down, and uh, we're going to eat pasta and uh, you know, Great honor tradition. and tribute and celebrate. You know, God bless them and God bless the family there, as well. And we're taking care of your voice. Yeah, your what? voice. Take care of your voice. Take care of your voice. Yeah, God bless you. Okay, we'll be right back with the answer to today's church challenge. It's an easy one, don't worry. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Don't have much money. 
money. 